Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. Let's get on to the $378 that I just spent at Walmart. Okay, we are gonna work our way uh, right, literally. We're gonna go right around the table. But this is the pandemonium. Um, I did get another thing of um, five pounds of grated cheese. This was like $13, $14. Uh, I do still have cheese in the fridge, so I can throw this in the freezer, no problem. Um, $1.98, I believe. I got two things, the yogurt, strawberry banana, and just the regular vanilla. Cheese balls is not something that I normally get for my kids, but if we are in a situation where we're just kind of stuck in the house, um, we can actually play games with these <laughs> and see who can catch them. These were about six bucks, these cheese balls. $1.98, I got, literally got the last bag of sour cream and onion chips for $1.98. And I got, there was a couple of these left, but I got um, cheddar and sour cream. This is actually a treat for my kids. I don't um, normally purchase this. This lemon berry squeeze heist Hawaiian punch was $1.98. I got two of the big jugs of apple juice. Uh, I wanna say these were $2.98. Charles has been asking for me to get these forever. Uh, they have the one pack, but they had these on sale for less than $5. I think they were $4.98. Uh, 24 pack of soda was less than $7. I did get, thank goodness, well, not thank goodness, but I'm happy that there was one left of Elijah's Cocoa Dinos, 42 ounces. This is about six bucks. I got a smaller bag of the Marshmallow Mateys. This was less than four dollars. Just gonna kind of start moving stuff out of the way. Um, Gatorades for my husband or heaven forbid we get sick. Gatorade was developed for put football players down in Florida. So it has electrolytes and stuff in it. It does have a high salt content. So if you were gonna use this instead of Pedialyte, you would probably wanna water it down. But it does have electrolytes in it. I grabbed two things of yellow cornmeal. These were about $1.50, $1.60 each. 98 cents for the daily clarifying, or a dollar, wait, no, this is $1.98. These are the big ones. So this is just shampoo. They didn't have our normal conditioner. There was, everything was sold out. So I grabbed this Suave. This was about three bucks. So with all the us girls in the house, um, my husband is pretty much, you know, he shaves his head. So uh, this will just be for us girls. And this will, will last us a couple of months. And I think I have some under the counter already. Elijah has really, my two year old has really sensitive skin. Um, I normally get this at Costco, but I forgot my Costco card at home. Uh, so this was almost $11, which is not bad. It's just a few cents more than what I pay for it at Costco. Usually I can get the double pack of these for $18 to $20 at Costco. My daughter Aaliyah needed deodorant. We use the 0% aluminum um, deodorant. So this was about five bucks. And I grabbed the last one of those. This was about three, four dollars. And this is what I buy for my husband because um, we are in Texas and I don't want him to stink when he walks into do granite in other people's homes. I found a little steel of, uh, there was one little section. I did not take them all, people. I did not take them all. These were a dollar each for these Fiesta side Spanish rices. Um, if you are buying food to store and save for a rainy day or a pandemic like we are in right now, um, your best bet is to get things that are already seasoned. They already have flavor in there. I thought I grabbed two of these, but I guess I only grabbed one. These are the sweet and salty peanut chewy granola bars. My son and my husband absolutely love these. It's kind of um, their little before bed snuggle while watching a movie snack, and I'm all for that. I grabbed the last three of the Olive Miracle leave-in conditioners. 
my children are mixed. We have a lot of hair. I use this in my hair too at certain times of the year when the frizz gets going. Um, I grabbed four cans of the cream of chicken soup. They were 50 cents each. Oh, sweet and salties were about $4. These are um, $3 each, 50 cents each for the cream of chickens. I got two boxes of the Zatarans red beans and rice. My husband loves Zatarans and the big boxes were $1.95, I think. These were $1.35, $1.37, something like that. So I got four boxes of these. I will use two boxes per meal and I have sausage in the freezer. So gumbo and red beans and rice are awesome. Three. Uh, pounds or 48 ounces of low sodium chicken broth. I got five uh, avocados for 33 cents. These were $1.98 by the way. Uh, five avocados for 33 cents each, $1.98 for a cantaloupe. I did get some ginger um, for some rice veggie recipes. And yes, I got Coco Dinos. Are you excited? So this big piece of ginger, um, I wanna say was like $1.35 a pound. I already talked about that. I went ahead and got all of our um, Easter basket stuff while I was there. So I got the kids these bubbles. They were a dollar. Um, I got four of these, uh, the fruit chew Tootsie Roll things and it is a um, piggy bank. Those were a dollar. I got some snacky, um, they're called Cottontails White Cheddar Cheese Balls, a dollar. Everybody got, uh, all of this stuff is in sets of four because I have four kids still live at home. Um, the Milk Chocolate Bunnies were a dollar. These Reese's, um, Reese's Pieces that look like carrots, a dollar. Let's see. I have some um, plastic eggs in the garage in my holiday stuff. So I got two bags of the Jelly Bird eggs, the classic ones. And then these are our favorite Easter treat, these Robin eggs. So I got two bags of those. Um, I don't really remember how much these were. I think these are like two something, but the jelly beans were a dollar each. And then, the baskets were 98 cents each, these little buckets. And I love to get the buckets because it's so close to summer. And then we have these buckets where they can play, you know, they can collect things when we go on a walk or they can, um, Elijah likes to put water and, you know, do his little mixy doodads in the backyard. Will be awesome. Um, I did pick up some more medicine. So I got the Zarbies. Um, this is what they had. A lot of the natural stuff was left. It was like the cheap medicine that was gone. So this has the expectrin properties in it where it helped um, loosen you know, the mucus. And the whole thing with the coronavirus is the mucus solidifies in your chest, I guess, and causes pneumonia. So it's hard for patients to, or people that get it to cough that up and out. So we have that. I got two, that was about 12, that um, Zarbies was about 12 bucks. These were like six, seven dollars each and these are just severe congestion relief tablets. Um, it does have acetaminophen in it, it's got the expectorant in it and it's got a nasal decongestion in it. And so there's 20 tablets each in there. Let's see what else I got. This is just like um, Vicks Vapor Rub, but it's a natural version of Vicks Vapor Rub. These were $1.98 each, and so I grabbed two of those. They're kind of small, but I already have Vicks, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, I have vitamin C, but I did not have any um, vitamin D, so I got a double pack of that. So I've got 200 tablets there, and I think this was about five bucks. Um, they didn't have our regular soap. 
I have psoriasis um, and my husband has eczema so our kids have uh, variations of both and they, we all have sensitive skin. So as long as we can wash ourselves, I usually get the teal dove, which is the sensitive skin. This was the only box of dove, dove um, soap that they had. I got 80 bags of the double zipper freezer bags. Um, I'm just almost out and so I grabbed those. I got 100 um, the uh, sandwich baggies. These were two something, these were three something. This was $6.88. Uh, Leah is out of face wash and we are currently pretty much packed, ready to move by the 1st of April. We have bought a house. I know it, the timing sucks, but it's pretty much done and we're just kind of in limbo waiting to move. Um, and she packed her face wash, so I got this energiz energizing facial cleaner from the Equate brand and that was like $3. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, I got lunch bags. These are going into our craft box. Kids can do so much with lunch bags, so I'm thinking we're gonna take some time to do some family crafts. Um, hand puppets and, you know, little goody stuff like that. We don't really use lunch bags. We don't, my kids don't attend public school. I got um, a pack of AA and a pack of AAA batteries because I, I may go to Costco and I may not at this point, but we'll see. Um, these were about $12, $13 each. And there is 24 AAA and 16 AA. And I still have batteries left in my drawer over there in the kitchen. Um, we needed washcloths, but here is what I do when I buy washcloths. I buy these 18 pack of mainstay washcloths. We use the colored ones for our bodies. So the color ones will go, will get, all of these will get washed. The colored ones will go in the bathroom, in the kids' bathroom. The white ones are what I use to clean with. So I don't necessarily have to have paper towels um, because we use white washcloths to clean with and I do that because no matter what I get on them I can I can decontaminate them I can bleach them and it doesn't ruin them so I although I have some um, from the last time that I bought washcloths which is like two years ago uh, we are due for a new set and this I want to say is like three or four dollars for 18 so it's it's awesome and I will probably if I can because I grabbed the last pack of these if they ever come in stock again I will probably grab some more um, sometimes you can find them with just all color and then all white ones which is usually how I like to do it but because it was empty that's what I got okay you guys so that was it three hundred and seventy eight dollars is on the table granted the Easter stuff is going to get packed straight into a box because Easter hopefully we'll be able to move um, the beginning of April <laughs> Elijah's having fun. Um, hopefully we'll be able to move at the beginning of April and Easter isn't until like the second week of April. So um, with all that being said, please stay safe out there. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you like the content and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.